you don't get presidential tickets at Market Square. Uzodima lambasted. Ahead of the 2023 presidential elections, yesterday said that Governor Hope Uzodima said that no one will get tickets at the Market Square. Rather, it is the decision of the political party. Governor Uzodima also warned politicians, particularly those from Southeast, that they will go hungry if they choose to remain in the opposition. The governor stated this while speaking with the state house correspondent after meeting behind closed door with President Mohammed Buhari at the presidential villa, Abuja. He told journalists that the Ebony state governor, Dave Umayi, who recently left the People's Democratic Party, PDP, after he accused the party of not zoning the 2023 presidential ticket to Southeast, did not tell him of any plans to vie for presidential tickets in the All Progressive Congress, APC. He said the ruling party ambition was to get into its fold as many Nigerians as possible. Hence, the current drive for opposition parties or politicians on the Southeast Presidency. He said, what we are doing in the Southeast as a party is carrying the message of the party. Before this time, some of us believe that we should have marketed the ideologies and policies better than the past leadership did. What are we trying to do is to explain to our people the need to see that this Nigerian project belongs to all of us. And if you jump out of the train, don't accuse anybody of pushing you out of the train. It is not about whether you want to be president no or not. You don't get presidential tickets by the market square. It is a decision of the political party. You must be loyal to your political party. So I know that my brother Uma is politically strong in the Southeast and joining APC would add to the value of the party in my region. But he never told me he is coming because he will be president. So I want these people who want to cause confusion and create bad name for Umayi to run away from that point and then encourage our people who have decided to align with the ruling party so that if you check very well, you will see it mm -hmm. well. Before 1999, in the First Republic, we had NPC going into alliance with NCNC for government to be formed. Zik became president do ceremonial and then NPC produced the prime minister. Even in the Second Republic, for proper democracy to be marketed, we went into an alliance, NPN. In that alliance, the Southeast produced the vice president in the person of Chief Alex Ekwemi and Ume Ezioke as Speaker of the House of Representatives, so we were better. The meaning of power is proximity to the source of authority. Once you have access, every ethnic zone wants to come close to the center. Even if you are not the head, you can be the neck or shoulder. We want to be part of the body called Nigeria and that way we will move in a very united manner. If Umayi did not come, I told you after I won my election that that part of my job is that I will deploy political evangelism and convince my people to join our party because our programs are very bright. So now we are gradually making a success today. It is a boy who knows who it will be next. My hope and prayer is that before the end of this year, two more governors 
we join APC. God knows or God help us and it works. I am home and dry. On the allegation that the APC-led government was heading to make Nigeria a one-party state, he said, I don't think so. If you recall our history from 1999 to date, you will agree with me that at a time, PDP had 28 states and they were still looking to remove the very few states of the other parties. Now, how many states do we have as APC? And the whole thing about politics is it is like evangelism. Every serious political party must have an expansionist mentality to expand their membership. I think we will continue to encourage our people because the whole idea is that once the ideology is right, the system is working. Nobody wants to go to a war that he will lose. So you join those who are winning. I think Nigerians over time has bought into the idea of the founder of APC manifesto of the party and give the achievement of the party despite the crisis globally, despite the security issues. You can see that Nigeria is still surviving. Thank you for listening to this news. Honorable Chief Judge or Governor of of um, of Supreme Court, who Zodima. <laughs> oh, let me tell you something. You see. Your fellow governor will not tell you his next plan or his next line of action. That is what you don't know. He will never tell you. If he may have that plan to be president, but he will not reveal it to you because you both are governors. So that you will not come over and become a threat to him. Okay, look at what is happening the moment he defected to APC. How is Okorocha feeling? Threatened. You see that? So he will never tell you. And he thinks faster than you do in politics. And that is how you know who is smart in politics. Do you think that anybody can just think of defecting for just defecting sake? There's always a reason for defection. All right? And that is why I can never concur or accept that excuse he gave, mm -hmm. saying that he defected because of the father he found in Mbwari. Please, let's say that to the birds. So, please, my viewers, deem it fit to leave your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.